We use tradespeople every day in all of our lives. When an engineer designs something, an architect designs something, a tradesperson builds it, fixes it, maintains it. We can't live without them. Hi, my name is Frank Luetta, Dr. Frank Luetta. I'm here to talk about the trade program at the Branch Community College of Northern New Mexico. This is uh, our electrical labs one. We're going over residential wiring. There it is. I'm Steven Skelton, plumbing and pipe fitting instructor at Northern New Mexico College, and we need young people in the trades. As far as plumbing goes, it's, it's more than just drain cleaning. We have all these different things, you know, that plumbers do. It's multidimensional. If you get the foundation in plumbing and pipe fitting, then you can go on to these new exciting fields that are out there for people that have the license. Employers up here, particularly the, the laboratories and, and the government, are all short of tradespeople. In fact, the estimate for, for LANL is, eight, is 400 tradespeople in the next two to three years. Uh, we have employers in Albuquerque asking for our people, and we just can't get people out fast enough. The goal of the trade department uh, is to get students in, get them a college degree or a certificate in their career pathway. We're also trying to make a pathway for them to get into union apprenticeships also. These students, they know how to do things with their hands being in a rural area. And if you get that training and then you get that good job, your dreams could come true. I have one student, he works for the county of Los Alamos. He's retired from the Marine Corps. He's learning new techniques. I've been working with the county of Los Alamos and I have been looking for a way to increase my licensure so I can scale up my pay. If I couldn't do this program, I would still be, I wouldn't be working at the county. I wouldn't. I'd be working in the trade, but I wouldn't be licensed. I wouldn't have a way to get licensed, and I wouldn't be making the kind of benefits and retirement that I'm looking at later on down the line. The trade program has a dual credit program where we're bringing in students from local high schools. I plan on carrying this out and getting the certificate that they offer through this program that we're in right now, because if I stay here, it's uh, I was told it was four semesters right now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I, I really like this class. I think it's been a real big help in like me finding what I actually want to do after high school because I was really confused before this class. My dad's a lineman, so I just wanted to follow in his footsteps. I just thought it'd be a pretty cool thing to get into. I like this class because we get to work together and it's more hands-on. The hands-on is why I like trades. It keeps me busy. I have to move around. It's, I'm not a desk person. <laughs> My grandfather was a plumber and he sort of introduced me to the whole thing. Lo and behold, now that I'm a junior, they started offering the dual credit, and I was like, oh, sure, why not? I didn't really have any passions that can be translated into jobs. So finding this and finding some passion in it makes it so I can have this as a job, and it does pay well. Uh, you can get a certificate, get an apprentice program, and you can start making 60 to $70,000 a year. At the journeyman or journey person level, 80 to $100,000 a year. That's not a bad income. This is sort of like an exploratory thing for me. I kind of went in and now I'm sort of looking into things like water resource management through civil engineering. I'm getting looks from the army. I feel like I can go out and be like, yes, I know what I'm doing. It just gives you a sense of confidence that we previously, I don't feel like I've ever had before. I, I plan on coming back next year, my senior year, hopefully, uh, and getting that certificate and then carrying on, yeah, with the scholarships because uh, money is an issue, so. A uh, scholarship would be important because it's like one less thing to worry about. Because college can be difficult when it comes to financial issues. I don't believe I would qualify for any scholarships, but uh, I am a lot more, uh, I'm pretty enthusiastic about this trade and I think enough people would be able to see, oh, hey, uh, hey maybe we can help them out. I want to emphasize to everyone that we're here to help and we need your help. What we need from the community is to help us recruit students and any uh, private funding that could help us with scholarships. Call our president's office for direction on donating. Thank you.